Hi, this video should help you help your WESD student to log into all of their uh, school materials on a home computer. The demonstration I'm going to show you here is going to be on a Windows 10 computer. If you have a Macintosh, the steps will be very, very similar once you get into Google Chrome. We do recommend that you use Google Chrome. If you do not already have it installed on your computer, we recommend that you install it. All right. So on a Windows 10 computer, I'm going to go down to the Start button in the lower left-hand corner and click on that. I happen to have Google Chrome showing right here in, in the, the, the large button menu, but I can also scroll down to my list of applications, and I can find Google Chrome there as well. It doesn't matter where I click on it as long as I start Google Chrome. So once Google, their, their standard homepage, and your homepage does not have to look like this, but once you have uh, Google Chrome started, all the way in the upper right-hand corner, there is a little tiny profile picture. Now, I'm logged in with a Chrome profile, and that matches my, my Google account. So you may have two pictures here. You may have two gray heads here. You may have something that looks completely different. But what we're looking for is the small profile picture or little head that is right next to the three dots. And if you click on that, that will give you an option to create a new profile. And doing this in a profile is going to make life so much simpler for you. So I'm going to go all the way to the bottom of the profile menu, and I'm going to click on Add. I'm just going to put in a name. I am not choosing the name of the real student I'm using here, and all of the real information that I'm going to be typing in in a moment will be blurred out. You won't be able to see the actual information. I'm just going to call this child Robert. I'm going to choose a profile picture. It doesn't matter which one I choose. I could create a desktop shortcut. If you think that'll be useful, you can leave the check mark there, but I'm going to take that off for this demonstration. And then I'm going to click on the Add button. So again, I put a name in, I chose a profile picture, and I'm going to click Add. So once you get to this screen, don't click on Get Started. Instead, click on the link right below that says, that says Already a Chrome User, because you're student already has an account. Here's where we put in their email address. Remember their email address is going to be the first, or I'm sorry, their email address is going to be their six digit student ID number at wcdschools.org. So you will not be able to read what I'm going to be typing here. And then at WESD schools.org. Click on the Next button. Now, because we use Microsoft to authenticate all of our Google accounts, you have to type in the student's email address a second time. And the next button again. Now I enter the student's password, which is first initial, last initial, a hyphen, and the eight digit birth date. So the two digit month, the two digit day of the month, and the four digit year that your child was born. And we click sign in. All right, now this piece right here that says stay signed in and there's a check mark here for don't show this again, this is gonna come up every single time. It doesn't matter whether you put a check mark there, whether you click yes, whether you click no, it really doesn't matter. This piece that shows up over on the right hand side, this allows you to save this, this information in the Chrome keychain so that uh, your student doesn't have to continually type this information in. This is a little bit of a security risk if you are on a public computer. If you're on a home computer, you can choose to do this or not. Since I'm going to be deleting all of this after I 
finish this video, I'm going to go ahead and click on Save. It also ask me, do I want to turn on Sync? And yes, I do. This way, anything that your student does in this particular Chrome browser will also be synced over to any other Chrome browser or Chromebook that they log into. Again, you can choose to not do this if you wish. It's a convenience. I'm going to do it. Occasionally, you will get this, where you have to sign into Chrome yet again. So again, I'm going to sign in with the student's email address. And you may have noticed that below it was because I had chosen to save this information. It was giving me an autocomplete. I could have just clicked on that. Click on Next again. And we would like to confirm the reference account is yours. Okay. If this is what you recognize and what you do intend, you click on Continue. And again, this account is managed by WSD Schools. I do want to link the data. This allows the data, again, as I mentioned before, to go from this particular Chrome browser to any other Chrome browser that your student logs into, especially Chromebooks. So I'm going to click Yes, Link Data. And finally, I'm going to click Yes, I want to turn on the sync. At this point, you have created a Chrome profile for your student, and anytime your student wants to get to their stuff, they can come into Chrome, and they can go all the way into the upper right-hand corner, and if their initial does not show, they can come down and they can click on their profile, which will appear down here. At this point, if they want to, they can click on the Home button, and this is all the stuff that they need. This gets them into Google Classroom, into Google Calendar, into Google Meet, into their Outlook email, and they can find their school in this list and click on their school for other specific information. I know this was a bit of a long video. I'm sorry about that. It's a lot of information. Thank you very much. I hope this helps.